Fucking Palm! <laughs> Welcome to SPFL <laughs> to another episode of SPFL Extra. Sorry we weren't with you last week, but we've got so much to cover. I'm talking Callum Higginbotham's panic a penalty. The best thing for killer this season and getting a draw against Celtic. And what about James Tavernier tearing up the championship? Exactly. Stinking Hibs. Yeah. Rory McAllister scoring five goals in one game. And if you're talking goals, let's talk Dunfermline, who have scored the, mo the most by an absolute mile. Absolutely crushing it. Hearts in Aberdeen are 100%. And there is literally so much to cover. So, here we go. <laughs> okay, and we're better to start them with the champion Celtic. No, 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 no. Wait, take it off first. Take it off. No. No, take no, it off. No, no. I've had a haircut, ladies and gentlemen. It's a haircut and a half, I would say. It does not mean that Faddy's joined a new club, but if you like it, leave your comments below. Dunfermline season has been utterly ridiculous. Connor? 4-1, 5-1, 6-1, 7-1, all consecutively. Brilliant. Amazing. I tell you what. The, could use a clean sheet. They, 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 they could do it for a clean sheet. They can't keep on saving themselves. Awful back four. But, <laughs> off the back four. The boy up top, and I can see him right now, Faisal Al Baktouri, he's already scored today. The chant is Ali 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 O! Ali 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 O! El Baktouri! Yeah. He scored another one today. He, can't he cannot stop. stop. He's absolutely insane. Any fans of the Premier League teams, you must want him. This club is absolutely bouncing. We have a big apology to give out. I believe what we said was Hamilton cannot score. Yeah, um, proven very wrong in the game against Dundee United. We're a pair of idiots. <laughs> Hamilton, you have proved us wrong. We predicted that Hamilton would be down the bottom of the table. They're not. So some teams have to be, and some teams definitely are. Yes. Now, we'll get to Killy. We'll get to Killy. But we'll start with Inverness Cali. Now, Cali got to Europe last season. They've suffered a number of injuries. Yes. The last game that they played was the first time this season that they were able to take the maximum number of subs to the actual match. I mean, no, I'm, I'm a team that's not taking a full bench. That team's never going to be like full strength or anything. Like, it's always going to struggle in games like with that many, that few players. Here's my difference. Cali's best players, Ryan Christie, going forward. Partick Thistle and Killy's best players are between the sticks. Thomas Cherney and Jamie McDonald, and that is often the mark of a yeah. club that is having quite a lot of action in their half. We've had our say, but how do you change that around? Fans calling for Gary Locke's head, is that really reasonable? I think to that's far too early myself. With a massively chop and change squad, maybe it's just going to take time for them to... You, have, I, you have to allow it, a team that's had that many changes, you have to allow a bit of time to gel, a little bit of time for them to find their feet. New manager as well, it's going to take a bit of time, you can't expect wonders straight away. No time to cover some of the other teams in the top flight. I'm looking at some of the teams that are coming through that last year weren't as good, but this year are starting to show real promise. One of them's out there, they're losing yeah. currently to Dunfermline, but Dundee have looked really strong this year, and the main reason behind that for me, Gary Harkins, Greg Stewart, and Kane Hemmings. Yeah, the, the, a trio that are just playing out of their skin at the moment. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I mean, Harkins taking up a little bit of a deeper role, but he's just like keeping the ball, spraying the passes. I like it, I like it a lot. By the time you see our faces again, the transfer window will be slammed shut. So, with, with a little bit of catching up to do, yeah. we've got Scott Allen as left Hibs. How you feeling? I, I knew it was going to happen. Yeah. I'm just glad it's not Rangers. Right? Bit of money going yeah. towards Hibs. And a couple of players coming as well. You've Liam got Henderson, Mc... Dylan McGeek both joining, so that's always a bonus as well. Hibs have got a bit of money to spend, need Hopefully. to shoot up that defence. Yeah, always. But yeah. we have today signed uh, McGregor, who's quit Rangers, as the, as the headline says. Yeah. So um, he's signing, which I think is a really good... He was player of the season last year for Rangers. Okay. And it's that time of the week again, ladies and gentlemen, where we need to cover your comments. And they have been as intellectual and as insightful as ever. Jamie McDonald comments in and says, Connor, you need to get some new shoes, and I agree. I mean, I think the killer keeper has in no right to judge my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, I think these are pretty banging. Mr. Falling Cats is unhappy with you being sockless. <laughs> right, Mr. Falling Cats, let me make it very clear. 
They're ankle socks and a wear socks, all right? He I wasn't wearing promise. socks last week. He wasn't wearing socks last week. I wasn't. But <laughs> your comments aren't just hilarious. They are actually genuinely quite insightful. And Josh Gilroy comments in and says, are we pleased with the fact that Scottish footballing attendances are up 20% on last year? And of yeah. course we are. If you can't tell, we're down at East End Park and it's absolutely jumping. That may be why you're struggling to hear us a little bit. But on a Tuesday night, this place is absolutely mad. Mark my words, football definitely doesn't look as good on FIFA or on the telly or on the computer. It looks absolutely brilliant here. Being in we the have, yeah, we have to urge you to get down. It is brilliant. It's, it's fantastic. It's great. And yes, Josh Gerard, we're delighted. Smash it. And now, Mr. Falling Cats possibly has a long-lost brother in Monster Cats exclusive who we have to recognise for giving us league tables all the way down to the Highland Leagues. Every he, league he all the way to the, the Highland, Highland League. League. Yeah, it gives the Highland League table. Or what he thinks it's going to be anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and the Cup. <laughs> yeah, oh, and the Cup, sorry, yeah. Uh, Aberdeen to win the Scottish Cup and Hearts to win the League Cup, I believe yeah. it was. <laughs> Monster Cats, if you want a job, we could use you, honestly. It's absolutely brilliant. <laughs> this is smashing. We've got league tables covering all of them. And I swear, I swear down, if you get them all absolutely correct, I will give you one million dollars. Our next comment comes in from Thomas Norton, who commented twice last week. First time saying, yes, I got a shout out. And the second time, we're going to give him another shout out. Six days ago, he said that Gideon Zellalem would move to Rangers. And yesterday, Zellalem did. Yeah, he completed that loan from Arsenal. A good signing for Rangers. Worrying for Hibs fans, as always. Thomas Norton, who are you? What do you know? How are you getting this inside <laughs> information? We need to know a little bit more about you, pal, because I'm, I'm, I'm keeping my eye on Thomas Norton. Everything he comments now, I think it's going to be true. Fanny Watch. Ladies and gentlemen, first up this week on Fanny Watch, we asked and you delivered. What car does Fanny drive? Well, Fraser King says he drives an Audi. And we've got more questions, Fraser. We want to know like, does, does Fanny have a dog? Does Fanny, Fanny have, have a, a sister? <laughs> <laughs> You're looking for a match, are you, Connor? Well, you never know, single and looking. All right, ladies. <laughs> the sister of the greatest football player ever. You can't. You can't, you can't argue you can't, with that. You can't go wrong. And sadly, folks, that does it for another week of SPFL Extra. But we have got a lot of things to talk about, and we need your comments. We need the transfer, transfer deadline day is only just around the corner, yep. so let us know if your teams could sign anyone, if you think they'll sign anyone, who's it going to be? Exactly. And echoing the sentiments of Josh Gilroy, asking us a question, what we thought about things. If you guys want us to cover absolutely anything, just ask us a question. Let us know, we'll give you our viewpoint on it. It's not quite expert, but it is on. It's something. <laughs> ah, it's something. And guys, this week we hit 50,000 subscribers on the SPFL YouTube channel. We want to have a big shout out to all you guys that are subscribed. Thank you Thank very you so much. And for anyone who's a first time viewer and is watching thinking these guys aren't half bad, please click here and subscribe to the SPFL YouTube channel for more content. Thank you very much you guys. Thanks we'll see guys. You next week.